What is up guys, today on this video we are going to be replacing the thermal paste in this uh, MacBook Pro and this is the model A1502 which is the early 2015 version. This one here suffering from fans being too loud, it gets quite warm at the bottom and overall it runs quite slow and sluggish. So the, the thermostat in here it's working way too hard, it's making the fans overload and it's just causing this Mac to become really slow. It could be a number of things that are causing this, but one of the main things is changing the thermal paste, because considering how old this is, a thermal paste on the CPU will dry up, just like any other PC or anything with a processor, CPU processor in there. Um, so we need to change that. So I've got a couple of things, you don't need too many tools for this. Um, I have a 1.2 pentalobe screw to take the bottom off. Um, I also have like a Torx 5 screwdriver and that's to get to the heatsink and CPU. have a trust, trusty brush, something to clean off uh, the debris that will be on dust that will be on the logic board. have a um, just a spudger, just a little pry tool here. Just a plastic one would do just to take some of the connectors off. Arctic Silver 5 thermal paste and some compound cleaner thermal paste remover. First thing you want to do, flip the MacBook over. I've already taken out the screws, but I'll show you where the screws are. They're all around here. So these are the pentalobe, uh, 1.2 pentalobe screws. They're very tiny, make sure you don't want to lose them. Once you've taken the screws out, get your pry tool. You just want to get under one of the grooves. Then just work your way around this. And eventually, the back plate will pop off. Now I've already gave this a slight clean. I hoovered up a little bit of the dust surrounding the logic board. So my suggestion is to get your brush and just brush off any dust that you see. Especially with the fan area, as this is probably going to be clogged up for you guys. So brush off all the dust off. Okay, so now we want to get to this heat sink here. You'll see a rubber bit surrounding this heat sink and this uh, helps the airflow um, direct to the heat sink where the fan is. And we want to pop this out. It just literally pops out like that. Put that to one side. And then there are these rubber caps around where the CPU shield is. You'll see the battery connector is here. These are the back, or well, this is the battery. Um, here is the SSD. Here's the fan, heat sink fan, Wi Fi adapter, IO logic board, or IO board. Just the logic board interface for your trackpad down here. Um, your left speaker connection. Um, but we want to disconnect this battery here, so just flip up this tab. It's it will be kind of sticky. Um, obviously, I've already uh, disconnected this battery a few times, so this is a lot easier to just rip off. But um, you would typically get your like pry tool and just work your way and just. Take this off and then you'll see the battery connector. Get your pry tool. I mean, you can probably use this, use your nails as well, but you don't want to be too aggressive with this and um, actually ruin the battery connector. But you see here, this will just pop off. Next you want to locate to your heatsink. There's this uh, rubber protector here over this heatsink and this actually helps the airflow from the fan direct to the heatsink. 
Um, so if you want to pop that off, it's uh, fairly easy. You just grab it and then just gently just put it off. And then put that to one side. And then here, here is the uh, CPU shield or heatsink over it. It will have these rubber bits. And you can literally just take this off. They are adhesive. So I guess if you want to put them back, you have to um, get a little bit of glue or double-sided sticky tape and then stick this back on. But I think once you take them off, they're quite hard to just place them where they should. They'll just keep going everywhere. I've just lost mine. Okay, next you want to grab your uh, T5 Torx screw. Well, actually, these are smaller. These are like two point something millimeter torque screw right? uh, screws. Okay, once that's done, you want to take off this uh, T5 torque screw on the top left where the heat sink is. Grab your pry tool. This should just pop off. Whoops. So ideally, you want to be gentle with this, because there's a there's a few like um, capacitors around here, and you don't want to damage any of those where the logic board is. But ideally, you just want to pop this off, and you can see here this this whole area. It's all dried up. It's not a good sign. It's uh, not cooling down the CPU enough, which is causing the, the fan to just go crazy. So we want to clean that off in a second. Um, but first, get your brush, and you want to wipe down this. Just to give it a good brush over. Just in case there's any dust around here. Right now we want to clean the shield and the CPU. So grab some uh, thermal remover. If you don't have thermal remover, then um, you can use just some um, cleaning products. I mean, I only need like just a couple drops. Don't need much. I've also put a couple drops on the actual CPU. Grab a lint free cloth. Uh, let's wipe this down doesn't take much to actually clean it off ideally you want to like let it rest for for like a minute or two Already looking pretty clean there. Right, once you've cleaned that, grab some thermal surface purifier. I mean, this is optional, I guess, but <clears throat> I'm going to apply some on the heatsink and also the CPU. And then again, just wipe it clean off. Grab your thermal paste. And what I'm going to do is just put like a little line there, like in just like a, just a tiny, tiny, small, like pea size in the middle of the other chip. You really don't want to put too much, but then you don't want to put too little. You don't need to put any on the heat sink, so don't worry about that.
literally applied like a sliver and on the other side the smallest like pea size shaped in the middle I mean I think that might be too much already but um, we're gonna try this and see how well the temperature does but I'm gonna leave it like that and then grab the heat sink Now quickly screw it back on so then the pressure will expand the, the thermal paste. So you want to do that as quickly as possible. Try not to like move the heat sink too much because it will just smudge everywhere. Alright, so I've screwed everything back on. Now I'm gonna just put the back plate on but I'm not going to screw everything back in just yet now let's turn this on now it normally takes like at least five or ten minutes for this to actually start heating up and the fans to go crazy so it sounds a lot better than before I tell you that so I've left it running for about five minutes now and it seems to be um, running smoothly there's no slowdowns the fans are quiet doesn't feel too hot so hopefully this tutorial has solved your issue um, if it doesn't if you have replaced the thermal paste on the CPU and you're still getting crazy fan speeds and your system's slowing down then uh, there's a fault in the actual logic board itself I think the temperature sensor there's a sensor somewhere on the logic board um, that might have fried and it's uh, thinking that it's it's uh, overheating when it's not and it's running too many resources which is slowing down your PC uh, slowing down your Mac in this case it just seems to be the, the thermal paste uh, but I would check that first before you do anything else check if it's dried up because it's an old system and uh, a lot of the thermal paste that they use uh, will dry up within uh, a few years so uh, that's something to look out for first and if you replace that then something else is uh, on the logic board is, is actually faulty so I hope this tutorial has been useful for you and uh, please comment like and subscribe see you again on another one